A problem statement is a clear and concise description of the issue or problem you are going to address in your study. It acts like a backbone of your research project on which you are going to work on. A strong problem statement consists of four main pillars. The first one is the background study of that specific field of research you are going to focus on and for that purpose you have to first select the area of study. For example, what is the area of your research? This is the broad area on which you are focusing on and by keeping in view those main keywords or key terms, you are going to move further to decide your research topic and research problem. For example, climate change is your main area of study and by focusing on this specific keyword, you are going to develop your problem statement. Then you have to narrow down the specific issue or problem on which you are going to focus in your study and you have to build the background for that. For example, at this point you are going to study the impact of climate change on the species which are living in coastal areas. So you have picked the problem and now you are moving forward and you are going to study the literature on that specific topic and work on the gap in literature and this specific study would leads you to develop the fourth point which should be considered while developing a problem statement and that is why it is important to study this specific problem and here you will explain the significance of your research by keeping in view what are the potential consequences if the problem is not addressed how will your research contribute to knowledge or solution. For example, studying the impact of sea level rise is crucial for developing effective coastal protection strategies and mitigating the displacement of coastal populations. So you highlight the problem and then you fix the solution in the form of your research area you are going to explore in your study. Then you have to go more brief and bifurcate your research problem into addressable research questions. These research questions can be from 2 to 5 depending upon your research project. To address this specific research problem, you can synthesize 3 to 4 research questions like the first question can be how much is level projected to rise in a specific coastal region over the next 50 years? What are the potential economic and social impact of sea level rise on these communities? What adoption strategies are being implemented and how effective they are. So the key components of a strong problem statements are number one, identification of the problem. Second, a contextualization where you build the hype of the importance of the work or the study you are going to do. Then scope and limitations. And the fourth point is the research questions you are going to address and you are also highlighting the methodologies you are going to adopt in this specific part not briefly but you are going to describe them in a one paragraph or three to four lines. Now how AI tools are going to help you to develop the research problem or the research objectives, your research questions, your aims and objectives, how you can leverage AI tools to develop a strong problem statement of your research project in free. For that purpose you have to use a free AI tool by Google known as Gemini AI. You just get a login and you have to provide the detail of your problem statement where you just have to provide the title of your research studies and the number of words you want to keep in in your problem statement and you will come up with the detailed problem statement including all the important and essential component that are strong or winning problem statement should have. So this is a research problem which I'm going to address. This is just the introduction of the problem statement. This is not the introduction of your document. The urgency of the problem, the scientific consequences is unequivalent. Global sea levels are rising at an alarming rate driven primarily by two key factors, thermal expansions and ice melt. The 
intergovernmental panels on climate change projects that global sea levels could rise by as much as one meter by the end of country and potentially even higher under more extreme scenarios. So this projected rise poses severe threat to coastal communities, uh, including coastal erosions, inundation and flooding, saltwater interrogations, ecosystem degradation, the need for this research, why this is important to improve the understanding for quality impact, developing adoption strategies and then these are the research objectives, these are the research methodologies that will be adopted to pursue this specific research and these are the expected outcomes and this is the significance of the research. Even you can add research problem and you can even add all other segments depending upon your field of study and your requirement you want to keep in just by adding those specific keywords or those specific sections you want to write in this specific problem statement. So in this way you will be come up with a very strong well structured problem statement by using this free AI tool and even you can use double check response feature where you will get all the information with the references with the help of this tool. So as you can see when we go up in the same document here you can find a lot of down arrows and these down arrows are leading us towards the references or the source of information which you can even use while writing your document. Even you can search related topics by climate change impact and sea and coastal communities and how does climate change affect coastal communities. So this after turning on its double check feature you will get these kind of suggestions all of the time which helps you to expand different section of your document by using the same tool. I hope so watching this video you will be able to not only develop a strong problem statement but with the help of AI tools this process is going to much easy and you can develop a professional and strong problem statement in no time. You can ask your queries you are facing in your research journey in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and share this video with others. We'll see you in another video till then take care yourself.